Hey everyone, I'm Tommy from Loophold, and today I'm covering a few things you should consider before buying your next pair of binoculars. Binoculars are a crucial part of any sportsman's toolkit. They allow you to glass from ridge to ridge and can help you pick out details in the timber. But with so many binoculars on the market, figuring out which one is right for you can be a challenge. Here's some questions to ask yourself that will simplify the process. The first question is, what do you need it for? Deciding how you're going to use your binocular will slim down your options and determine which optical system to invest in. So let's go through a handful of scenarios and talk about the bino setups that would perform the best. Say you're the kind of person who's always on the move and only uses binoculars for a quick identification throughout the day. For this scenario, a bino with our advanced optical system is perfect. It'll give you plenty of clarity for high definition viewing without weighing you down. If you choose the advanced optical system, you'll get a great combination of image quality, glare reduction, and price that's ideal for recreational glassing. Now, what if you're an avid hunter or shooter who glasses clear cuts or hillsides for hours at a time, or you're someone who likes to squeeze every minute of usable light out of the day? In these scenarios, you'll want to use the improved light transmission and performance that comes with the elite optical system. Binos that are built with this system virtually eliminate glare and deliver sharp, bright, color correct images. So you'll always have visual assurance needed before starting your next stock or sending more rounds down range. But maybe you're a professional hunter looking for coos deer in the Arizona desert, or a long range shooter who needs to clearly see his hits and misses in competition. These scenarios require hours of glassing, which is something that demands excellent edge to edge clarity in order to deliver all day comfort. If you're going to be behind your glass for an extended period of time, the professional grade optical system is the way to go. Binoculars that use this system dramatically reduce eye strain while giving you the premium sharpness, brightness, and contrast you'll need to keep your eyes fresh from sunup to sundown. So now that you have a rough idea of which optical system is best for you, let's talk about magnification options. The next question to ask yourself is, how far do you want to see? While your use case will influence what magnification you decide to go with, everyone is different, and what's right for someone else may not be right for you. When talking about binos, a good place to start is usually a 10 by 42. A quality 10 times bino is hard to beat because it delivers enough magnification for long range identification and a field of view that still gets the job done in tight situations. This magnification is great for quick glassing sessions without the use of a tripod. Once you get up to a 12 or 15 power optic, you'll be able to see small targets at further distances, but there are trade-offs. As you increase the power of a bino, you lose out on your field of view, and keeping your sight picture steady becomes a little bit more of a challenge. Little movements are intensified when you're glassing with this kind of magnification, so using a tripod is recommended. If you want crisp, clear images during extended glassing sessions, or if you're looking to save weight and leave your spotting scope at home, a high power binocular is a great option. But sometimes, having a wide field of view is more important than being able to see details on a buck at 500 yards. A six or eight power binocular will provide an extremely wide field of view to help you pick up movement much easier. The smaller magnification also means less glass, which will reduce the size and weight of your bino. This level of magnification is ideal for hunting in a tree stand, stalking through thick cover, or calling shots at close range. So, we've covered how you'll use your bino and how much power you'll need. The last thing to ask yourself is, would a spotting scope be a better buy? Our spotting scopes are designed with only one eyepiece, and they're generally better suited for long range glassing. These optics tend to be bigger, heavier, and much more powerful than your average binocular, making them the perfect choice if you'll be looking off ridge tops or scouting over wide open areas. That does mean, however, that while you don't always need a tripod with a binocular, you usually do when glassing with a spotter. After answering these questions, you should be well on your way to selecting the right binocular for you. To finalize your decision, check out our Versus video series to learn more about individual models. And of course, for more information about Loophold binoculars, head over to loophold.com.